Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can interface with a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor with your Raspberry Pi. We will use Python programming language in doing the code for this project. So I have here my DHT22 sensor module and my Raspberry Pi 0W together with the breakout board and some connecting wires. What I'm going to show you is that I'll be using the DHT22 sensor module which already contains the pull-up resistor and some filter capacitor so that there, there will be no need for us to connect any external component in connecting with our DHT22 module. So the DHT22 module outputs the temperature and the humidity in a single data line and it only has three pins. One is for the power pin for the ground and BCC and the other pin is the data line which is the digital line wherein the temperature and the humidity goes out. For the wiring and schematic, all you need to do is just to connect the three pins of your DHT22 module and just connect the ground and the BCC pin to the ground and the 3.3 volts of our Raspberry Pi Zero and connect the data pin to the any of the digital pins of the Raspberry Pi. I'm using the Raspberry Pi Zero W here in my project but you can use any other Raspberry Pi variant such as the Raspberry Pi 4B or the latest which is the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W. So Let's go now into the code. So the code for this project, by the way, is available in my GitHub repository, which I will post in the description of this video. And the way to connect with the DHT22 sensor is by using the library. So when you try to Google for the library that you can use when connecting with the Raspberry Pi, there's actually two libraries that you would see. One is the Adaproot Circuit Python DHT library. So by the way, this is the latest project that we can use or the latest library that we can use. And some of the sites when you Google, you will find them using the old library, which is the Adaproot Python DHT. The only problem with this library is that this is already dep deprecated. So if ever there is some issues with your readings, then it will be hard to use this library since the support is already ended for this library. But in our case in here, I'm going to show you how you, you can use both libraries so that you can decide for yourself which libraries that you're going to use. So the steps that I have outlined here in my companion write-up is already detailed. So you just need to follow the steps in here and just take a look at how the library is being installed. So I have here the two libraries, which is the Adaproot Circuit Python DHT, and the other one is the library called the Adaproot DHT. So the only concern that I have with the Adaproot Circuit Python is that the installation is a bit involved, and you need to install the Circuit Python library for the Adaproot project. If you're not familiar with the Circuit Python, it's the MicroPython implementation of the Adaproot Industries. So once you have installed the library by following the steps in here, then you can now start connecting with your Raspberry Pi. So this is my project right now. And if I try to list the project, you would see that there is two files actually. One is named new and the other one is named old. So the new uh, Python file uses the new Circuit Python library, and the old is using the deprecated library, which is the Adaproot Python DHT library. So, but for now, let's try to execute these two these two files so that we would know what the output is. So to execute the project, just click, type the Python and then the new, and as you can see. It was able to retrieve the values of the temperature and the humidity. When you see this message, which is the pull buffer, just ignore this one. It just means that the library was not able. 
read the sensor readings. So you can uh, just continue with the code. And as you can see, the temperature and humidity is being returned. If we try to hold the sensor, then you would see that the, the humidity started going up right now. So which means that the sensor was able to detect the change in the humidity. So that's all for the using the new DHT simple. So if we check what the code is for this new DHT simple is, it's actually just really simple. All you need to do is just to import the necessary packages or library and then just create the DHT device, which is the DHT22. By the way, this library is applicable also for any DHT11 variant also. So you just need to pass in the board number or the GPIO pin number, which is in my case is uh, GPIO18. And it just continually loops. And after looping, it just reads the temperature by passing in, by calling the DHT device that temperature. And there is just some conversion between the cell Celsius and the Fahrenheit and the humidity is just being called by calling the DHT device that humidity. The error that you have seen earlier was caused by some runtime error here so it just prints the error and then just continue with the looping. So as per the DHT library the errors happens fairly often because it's hard to read this sensor so just ignore it and just continue with the code. So that's, is, that's all for how you can read the DHT22 sensor using this library. Next, I'm going to show you the old library, which is the this one. So let's try running it first by running Python old. And as you can see, the library was able to give back also the value of the temperature and the humidity. So if we try to check the code, So the only difference here is that it's importing the adapt root underscore DHT with the first letter in capitalized form. And then the sensor value is dictated as DHT22. So you can replace it with the DHT11. And then you just need to define the pins. And then after defining the pins, there is a complete loop here. Just uh, if you check the method that is needed you see that it is calling the read and retry which is the sensor and then which you can call by passing the sensor and the pin and as you can see the reason why it is read and retry such that if there's a failure then it will wait for two seconds be before trying to read again the HT22 sensor and then after the values are retrieved then it just prints the temperature and the humidity. So basically that's really how easy it is to read your HD22 sensor using the Adapruit library and the Python programming language. So that's it. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!